five reasons you got them scared. Number one, they think you would treat them the way they treated you, but always treat people better. That's going to hurt them worse. Number two, you will expose who they really are. They presenting themselves to be something that they're not. Number three, you will never need them. Their confidence, happiness, and foundation is based upon you. Number four, they scared of karma coming back, but everybody reap what they sow. And number five, your success. Success brings change, and change forces people to grow, and that's what they can't stand. Keep a rich mentality. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, help by Shem. You have a shy, by Shem, Kakudashi. Much mercy to you, brothers out there. Are you sincere, brothers? All you men out there that's um, understanding this gospel, you know, we try to give you um, the understanding of the spirit as clear as possible, you know. Um, Shalom to you brothers, man, that are growing, man. It is very beautiful in this time. Uh, the brother said something the other day where I want to go into uh, 1 Corinthians 12. And I think the brother mentioned this, and it's really heavy to understand this chapter, to understand this verse, man, because um, the new covenant, it, it is a the, the teaching of it, the understanding of it is something that um, it, it's not going to be given to everybody. But the certain ones that have that understanding, then they're going to understand what this is. And they wouldn't say uh, it's a new covenant doctrine demon or they're teaching, uh, 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 they're teaching this new doctrine. You know, everything that they were saying about the Lord, they're saying it about this new covenant, man. It is crazy. Somebody uh, literally said that we should go jump off a building or something like that. And they, and you got to think about it. They wanted to throw the Lord off a cliff. Like if this thing is very spiritual, you know, like guys talking about putting uh, the new, them new covenant niggas in pine boxes. That's heavy to think about because guys that are in that spirit, all these guys that are in that spirit that hate the new covenant, basically us teaching it and don't have nothing to add with it or put with it or, be like, yeah, that's what's up, brother. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? They have a evil uh, part about it. You know, like their their whole take on it is evil. Like, man, stop teaching that. You guys are teaching the heathens can be saved. Well, it's the scriptures. If you had that understanding, the scriptures is teaching that. But you're evil because you're against the scriptures. So you don't want the scriptures to say what they actually say. And that's a lot of you guys um, in this last day. The scripturally actually, the scriptures actually say that's why the new covenant is a new covenant. All these new things are happening in the new covenant. <clears throat> and I can see guys are just stuck on what the, the old way used to do. Yeah, we understand that the, the, the heathens couldn't come in and. They weren't allowed in the temple. And, you know, we understand the old covenant. The, the, the heathens, you know, they, this, they, you know, this, that, and this. Yes. The, the, the heathens didn't have no part in that old covenant. But for a fact that we know that you guys don't understand the new covenant, you cannot accept the heathens. So this is a fact that, and I'm saying heathens because I understand what the scripture is talking about, heathens and Gentiles. You don't really even need to look it up because it's spiritual. But you guys that, that that have manipulated the scriptures to make them bend to your liking because you don't like that. And it's a lot of guys that just can't take the cold, hard truth that the Lord is not hearing you keeping that law. So it's like you're you're teaching men to keep that law. The Lord ain't hearing that shit. You can teach that shit all you want. <laughs> You can teach men to keep the old law all you want. The Lord is not hearing that shit. Because that's not fighting the good fight of faith. The good fight of faith ain't fought for the old covenant. The Lord is not hearing that shit. And all you guys teaching that. And, and, and what's heavy is. 
Um, I just want to say this. These camps uh, act like um, the old law's curse, but they're keeping it, bro. Hypocrites, bro. Actors, man. That's what we're dealing with in this last day. But we're not doing this for a check or, or not, nothing to, to look a certain way in the world or none of that. We're, we're doing this to teach a certain understanding that's going to help bring the end. And that's what's needed, a certain type of understanding. Not understanding the old law, what happened back then. Like I say, man, a lot of you guys are in that spirit of eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And that is not the spirit of the kingdom. All you guys. And it's easy to see you guys that are in that spirit. It's very easy to see everybody. You, you just, you know, like if you don't really understand it, then you're like, hey, what is he talking about? But it is very easy for us to see you guys ain't about nothing, man. This whole everything, basically. But pertaining to this truth, because the Lord set us up to defend the gospel. That's what he set us up for, to defend the word in a way where it's going to make you think about things, not just accepting every goddamn thing. And that, you know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of guys do. They accept a lot of, a lot of things without really understanding it. And certain of us brothers, we accepted that shit, too. You know? We accepted the ways of the old laws for a whole decade. Now going to a, a half of a decade, I would say, now, we're understanding and teaching and growing in this new covenant. It's not about the old at all. So I just want to say is it, it, it don't matter what you guys talk about the old law. Or you're keeping the old law or keep the law. The Lord's not hearing that. You're cursed under that shit. And the, these camps hold stands the whole time. You got to remember this. They were holding to the old law. They wasn't in the new covenant yet. Through all of this. Men were teaching that you, you got to be in your own land to be in the covenant. So at the end of the day, you got to understand. And these things has to be said because the, the Lord... The, the ones that are of God, they got to come out of the world. So certain things they have to hear, man. That's why it's beautiful, this new covenant going out. And, and really, if you don't have a good heart, you ain't going to really see the Gentiles. And a lot of guys are teaching in the spirit of hate. A lot of guys are in that spirit. Every time they see us or hear us, man, they just be like, man, I hate that nigga. You know? <laughs> well, like the brothers, man, you guys are in that evil spirit. In uh, John 7, when the scriptures tell you that the Lord, he didn't walk no more openly because the Jews sought to kill him. You guys are in that murderous spirit. And the brother mentioned this, 1 Corinthians uh, 12. And uh, let's start at 1. Because the brother, he mentioned this. Like a, you brother be mentioning a lot of things. And that's that's what's so heavy. Uh, this this covenant is going to help open men's minds up. That's what's hap happening. Certain seeds are being planted in minds at, at this time. And it's very beautiful. So you had to keep sowing, like the scripture tell you in Matthew 13, you brothers got to keep sowing and plowing, man, because the seeds are being sown. And this thing is growing in men's minds. And that's the only reason why we're here, to help men repent. To understand and repent. If you understand the scriptures, then you can understand where we're going. But if you can't understand where we're going, like a lot of people, they're just going to reject it and teach against it. And ultimately, you, you, you're you going to find out that you wasn't on the side with the Lord at the end of the day. So 1 Corinthians uh, 12, it says, Concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant... Ye know you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So, so Paul is speaking in the sense where he he's speaking in the sense where he's speaking to our people in this in this sense, because he was like, hey, you was carried away unto certain dumb idols. Like our people today, they've been led away. In uh, false doctrine, and we're just trying to help a few because a lot we know a lot of you guys, 
your whole thing is to be a part of something or a part of the world. That's why when you understand the spirit, it ain't about following the multitude. It's about one man going up at a time, bro. This is what's this is what's going on. Guys don't understand that they're going to be judged for every idle word and everything that they were teaching and their intentions. That's what you're going to be judged off of. You're not going to be judged on how you how fake you were being. Holding men to the old law. Guys are actors, man. So you just got to repent to the new covenant. You know what I'm saying? And really understand what the Lord is saying. So right here, 1 Corinthians 12 and 3. Wherefore, I'll give you to understand that no man speaketh by the spirit of God. Call us Yahweh Shai, Jesus, the anointed, accursed. You see that? Let's read that again. That no man speaketh by the spirit of God. Call of the anointed, accursed. And that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. So you can't even really believe in this unless you're in the Holy Ghost. And you really believe. But the heavy part is no man speaking by the spirit of God calleth the anointed a curse, calleth him a curse. Do you know what that means? So let's say the, the, the new covenant. The guys say new covenant doctrine demons, right? So that's what they're that's what they're calling the Lord. Because we're only teaching what happened. We're only teaching what the Lord taught. And guys are calling it a demon. And, you know what I'm saying? But if you really understand this thing, you understand that we're really teaching you what the Lord said. And what, what his, his doctrine is just to believe in him and leave that old law alone. It's a reason why guys are holding you to the old law. It is a reason why that's happening. You really got to understand that because the Lord brought something new. And the ones that's not other new, they're going to hold to the old. And that's of the world. This thing is totally based on your belief. You see? Hey, and certain men, certain men are just um, of God, bro. You know, we don't have to fake it or try to be... Um, notice and none of that we just have to teach the lord's word but the scripture tell you that no man uh that speak of by the spirit call of god a curse so no man to say new covenant doctrine demon or get out of here with that new covenant demon you see what i'm saying so this is further telling you that guys that are cursed let's go look up this word a curse because i heard i heard the brother say that and I thought that was so heavy. So, like, if you were really a God, you would love the new covenant, basically. That's what I'm saying. But if you're not really of God, then you hate the new covenant. You see? And you're doing everything in your power to, to really be against it. So, this word accursed in uh, 1 Corinthians 3. And... Uh, What's that? First Corinthians 12 and 3. Strong's G331. Anathema. 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 A curse. It says, a setup or laid by in order to be kept, especially an offering resulting in the from a vow which is after being consecrated to God was hung up in the walls or the columns of the temple will put in other places it says a thing to vote it so this is something by god devoted to god without the hope of being redeemed you see what i'm saying so these are the the the, the ones that are cursed they haven't been redeemed you see that's why we tell you like uh the the if you're holding to the old law, that means you haven't been redeemed. Now, everything was spiritual. So if you really can't can't lock into the new covenant, then that means you haven't been redeemed. You know, if I'm saying it, <laughs> if you hate the new covenant, that means you haven't been redeemed. 
if you're teaching men that camp doctrine shit, or that whole, listen, man, that whole camp doctrine has holes in it. All right. And uh, somebody said something about that guy that was that was teaching something. Them guys in Mississippi, and we were never with those guys in Mississippi. I've never talked to none of those guys in Mississippi, so they were teaching whatever the fuck they were teaching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I mean, you can't link everybody together, man. Everybody that's teaching the new covenant, they're not really of the new covenant like that. It's just like that, guys. A lot of guys are teaching the new covenant for different motives. And I really understand why guys are teaching. A lot of guys teaching and they don't even really have all the understanding. You see? A lot of guys are teaching that don't really have all the understanding. And what's heavy is they have a hatred for brothers to actually understand this thing. You got to understand that too. Everybody has a hatred for men that really understand. Because they don't. So that's why we've been, we've been gifted. Because a lot of guys are a curse. So it says, a thing devoted to God without being redeemed. And if an animal to be slain, therefore a person or a thing doomed to destruction. A curse. A man a curse devoted to the direct of woes. And part of the direct woes is being in darkness. Not really having an understanding. That is a woe. So, like, are you gifted in this last day with real faith or are you accursed against the Lord? And we see you guys that have been against the Lord this whole time. But it's like if you're really with the Lord, then you really got to be hated. Then that's your ticket for, to being with the Lord. Not just uh, being honored in, a, in this world. You have to be hated because Guys that are being honored in this world, if you're being honored in the world, then you want to then you want to stay here in the world. You see what I'm saying? Just like in, when you go back to Acts, that that when Paul was talking about double honor, he was speaking about the men that was elders that were actually with the Lord. James was uh, the Lord's brother. You had uh, John was the Lord's favorite. And you had Peter. They, they were these were close men to the Lord, bro. So the Lord's not dealing with anything accursed in this last day. They haven't been redeemed. So they were redeemed. The Lord's not dealing with the. Uh, if if you if you if you don't believe in a new covenant right now and the Lord's and the understanding don't click with you and you're under a camp doctrine, you're actually a curse. Because no matter if you say uh, you're not holding the old law, if if you try to say that, even though we know you guys celebrate Passover, but what I'm getting to is the other things that the new covenant is here. Instead of you waiting on it, all that shit got to follow too. I'm talking about in your spirit, like you have to re really repent and then push it and understand it and teach it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're teaching it or just really believe in it. A lot of guys don't really believe in it. They have ulterior motives. You can understand. You could tell their understanding. You see what I'm saying? So that word accursed. Um. It says, um, a thing devoted to God without the hope of being redeemed. Uh, what's this? I want to grab this. In, um, Galatians, man. It's, it's something real easy. Because Galatians. Um, matter of fact, Revelations. Certain men were redeemed. In this time, so the new song has nothing to do with the old law. It's, it is is parabolic. It's spiritual talk. It's not nothing has to do with the mixing of the old law. The, the new law, the new covenant, is basically on men that are actually 
uh, like grab it like that that we're really teaching this in the first that are really of god that really understand the lord that's what the new covenant who would gravitate to if you're really of god that's who it gravitates to his understanding and if, you, and if you just don't have it then that just means you're not redeemed if you're holding the old law then the lord didn't buy you back revelations 5 and nine it says and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thou art for thou was slain and has redeemed us by god by thy blood of every kindred tongue people and nation so people are gonna believe all over the world you gotta understand not that many people even believe you see what i'm saying not that many people truly believe so it's like a, a lot of guys don't even believe so this, this ain't really for everybody but it's going to be everybody all over that's just going to believe Jews or Gentiles they're going to be all over that's all this is saying I mean you don't have to take the scriptures and bend them now if you have to take them and bend them then that means you, you're doing something corrupt you see what I'm saying and so that's what we have the, the scriptures plainly tell you that you're cursed under the old law bro thinking that justifies you and we teach this so even guys in camps can get it so they can repent and just repent and separate their soul from the world. You see what I'm saying? You have a better chance doing that than being in camps. I will tell you that. Because <laughs> these camps, I, I, you know what? I heard one video this, this morning. I just skipped through it. And this guy said that his righteousness is filthy rags. You, you, and you believe that. You, he said that he wasn't shit. You can't be telling yourself that. And your righteousness is dirty rags. Whoa, whoa. That means you don't even believe in what the Lord came to do. That means guys don't believe because the Lord haven't washed them. So they can actually believe, man. That's heavy. That's that is what the what the Lord meant when he told uh uh Peter. You don't understand now, but you're going to understand later. The understanding later is really understanding the Lord, that he came to wash you and make you clean. And he came, and he came to redeem you. But you got the devils and the demons in this world. They're teaching that the Lord ain't redeemed you, that you have to keep the old law and that, you know, that uh, you're waiting on a, on a covenant. You got to be in your own land for a covenant and all this shit. You see how Satan is? So certain of us that have been redeemed, they don't want you to understand that you're bought back by God, man. And it's, it's understandable. You know, if you were Satan, you'll be fighting to keep that information from the ones that are the believers. But it's inevitable. Revelations 5 and um, 10, it says, and has made us unto our power, kings and priests, kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth and reigning on the earth ain't in no carnal matters. Everything is going to be in subjection to God, bro, in those times. Something a lot of you guys can't even fucking imagine, bro. You have no idea. That's why the, the, the earth is going to get rid of evil spirits. That's, that's what we're telling you. So this word redeemed in uh, Revelations 5 and 9. And just something real quick. I just had this on my mind. The word redeemed in Revelations 5. Let's see this. Strong's G59. Agarazzo. Agarazzo. So that word redeemed, it says to be in the marketplace, to attend to, to do business there, buy or sell. It says of idle people to hunt the marketplace, lounge there, to do business there, to buy or sell. So the Lord is telling you he's, he's bought you. He's, he bought you off the market. You belong to the Lord. So the ones that belong to the Lord, they can't sell their soul. You see what I'm saying? Their soul is already already paid for. The Lord already paid for you certain brothers out there, man. That can, that can really understand this. The Lord paid for you, and they're trying to tell you that you still have to keep the old law to keep you from the Lord being with you in this time. Once you know that, that's over. But these guys, they don't believe that, and they don't know that. They're of Satan. So they're against you understanding that. Because if you hold to the old law, then you cannot 
really guys don't understand that if you when you hold to the old law it makes you it makes it impossible for you to understand the new covenant and for you to really believe in it it makes it it makes it impossible because you're fighting against the new covenant by holding all that old covenants all that, all that, all those things in the old covenant you don't really understand that so by guys not understanding that then they haven't been redeemed so guys that are teaching against the new covenant they're cursed because they wouldn't be speaking against the Lord and his doctrine. So repent to the new covenant. Hey, with that, hey, shalom.